everyone. Today I am at an awesome winery in Napa. And as you can see, all around me is flowers and vineyards. First thing you might notice is the brilliant colors, that carpet, the floor, and a beautiful yellow rose. These are wild mustard flowers, but some people here nurture them so that they can look their best. Now wild mustard flowers, given their name, can be the cause to mustards. For one, when they die or wither out, they leave behind a seed, much like when you bite into, for example, a um, grapefruit. There will be little seeds in there and then you can plant it again and then a new sprout will grow. It's the same concept with this. There's gonna be seeds, except the seeds can produce mustard, which is cool. You can see there's some white polka dots or just like plain white dots. Those are the sheep. Now, the sheep eats other stuff and especially this wild mustard flower. So right there, we can see a food chain coming to life. Wait, but doesn't that mean the sheep meat will also like smell like mustard because they eat wild mustard flowers? We can find out something else right now. The grapes. These are basically the remnants of grapes. These are the rows in the vineyard. And they will start crawling along these barbed wire. You know how like when your tree in your front yard starts to go sideways, you put a stick so that the tree can go back? Well, that's basically this. The barbed wire is a course for the grape plants to crawl on, to fall up, so that they look gorgeously purple at the end. The whole thing, purple and yellow, go brilliantly together. Now, during September and October is the harvest season. It's when those tiny little grapes are ready to pick and make into wine. You might wonder, tiny? Grapes are like this big. Those aren't tiny compared to blueberries. But actually, those are just like table grapes, like the fruit grape that you can actually eat. But these wine grapes, yes, you can eat, but it's made for wine. Well, aside from that, we have a lot of other animals that range this area, just like us people do. Well, the first are snakes. Of course, it's too cold for snakes to be out. It's only February. But these snakes are sleeping in their tiny little coves, just ready to get out and eat some flowers or whatever they eat. There are also gophers. Gophers are those annoying little critters that dig up in your backyard and eat everything you have. Well, it's the same here. If there were devices that sent a tremor through the ground that would scare the gophers away, I call that ingenious. Well, this vineyard in Napa just proves how much nature can give us. Wild mustard flowers, sheep, that probably also tastes like mustard. And of course, center of attention to the holy grapes.